Hey guys, this is Danny with Patrick Adair Designs here to introduce our brand new birthstone collection. For this collection, we designed 12 new rings based around the birthstones from each month of the year. For this video, we're gonna be doing the August birthstone, which is Sardonyx. If you wanna see any of the other rings more in depth, let us know down below. But for now, let's go ahead and get started making the Sardonyx ring. In this ring in particular, we're gonna be using our green glow powder, our obsidian black, daytime pigment, and a tungsten ring blank. For our birthstone collection, most of the months only have one gemstone associated with that month. August is one of the few months that has several gemstones. It has peridot, spinel, and sardonyx. We decided to highlight sardonyx for this month just because it's such a unique stone with its really dark brown complexion and then it has these nice vibrant stripes of white and a vibrant orange thrown in there as well and it's a really interesting combo to have the dark brown and the really clear white and the nice opaque orange I think that they just look really nice together and this one in particular represents courage happiness and clear communication it's often thought to bring stableness and long-lasting happiness to relationships and partnerships so it's just a really special stone that has a lot of meaning behind it. For this ring in particular, we decided to add our obsidian black color pigment. For most of our birthstone collection, we went with an uncolored glow powder, just leaving it that nice raw glow color because it highlights the natural beauty of each gemstone. But with sardonyx, we decided that a black background would really help the oranges and whites of this particular gemstone pop. So we decided to mix it up, add a little bit of color to our ring. Our first step in actually making this ring come to life is to do a glowstone background. We're just doing this on the bottom layer of our inlay channel just to really have a backdrop for the gemstone. Next up, we're gonna start inlaying the sardonyx. For this one, I'm hand picking and hand placing each piece. I'm doing this just because I wanna be really picky with the size and colors of the pieces that I'm using. I really want this ring to highlight the oranges and the whites of the sardonyx, but mostly be dark because that's how the gemstone itself looks. It's mostly dark with these hints of whites and oranges kind of hidden within. So that's what we're going for. We're just inlaying each piece one by one and I'm trying to include as many of the dark pieces as I can just to make sure that it stays true to what the gemstone looks like. As I'm inlaying, I'm just going a little bit at a time, about a quarter of the ring, and I'm using our medium CA adhesive, putting a layer of that down, then hand placing each of those gemstone pieces, and then I cover it with a little bit of our black color pigment just to lock everything into place. We're not trying to fill up those gaps and channels, we just wanna lock things into place. So I put a little bit of the color pigment on there, and then I just blow off the excess. After I've gone all the way around the ring, I wet it down with a little bit of our super thin CA adhesive just to make sure that it's all saturated and when I hit it with accelerator, it will actually cure and stay in place. After I allow that to sit for a couple of minutes, I do a few layers of our super thin CA adhesive just to fill in all of those gaps and crevices and bring the whole inlay channel up to the lip of the blank. So 
Sardonyx is a fairly hard material, so dremeling it took me quite a while. But I just took my time and I was patient, swapping out the dremel bits as needed and using plenty of water to ensure that I didn't dirty or break any of the gemstones further. Next I'll do a 220 grit sand, a 500 grit sand, and a 1000 grit sand. And I'm just doing this to really sand everything back down flush and create a nice, even, smooth finish. And after I'm done sanding, we're gonna go ahead and use our diamond paste polish. I'm gonna do steps one through five because this really allows the ring to get a really nice, smooth, mirror-like finish. And with these gemstones, we really wanna highlight their natural beauty, so we wanna have as smooth and as glossy of a finish as we can, just to really highlight and show off the beauty of these stones. Honestly, I'm thrilled with how this ring turned out. I love the look of the Sardonyx. I love how it's such a dark ring, but it really just has those nice pops of white and orange, and it has a really nice green glow. I think that this ring is beautiful, and it really highlights the natural beauty of Sardonyx. And I'm so excited for you to see the other 11 rings in our birthstone collection. As time goes on, I'm sure we'll introduce more and more rings to this collection to highlight the other beautiful gemstones that are associated with each month. For now, we've done one for each month of the year, just really allowing us to focus in on each month's unique gemstone. But if you'd like to see another video highlighting another one of the gemstones, let us know down below in the comments and we can make sure that that can happen.